Green Living TV. Natural, organic, genetically modified. What do these words mean when we're talking about our food? Let's talk about the word natural first. You might be surprised to know that natural on a label doesn't mean anything. It's a legal weasel word. Any chemical, irradiated food, or other weird substance can be included in natural food, including various genetically modified food crops. Genetically engineered food, also known as GMO, is not currently subjected to any labeling requirements because companies involved have fought any attempt to label their products. GMO food was developed in partnership with Arthur Anderson Consulting as a means to allow capture and control of the world's seed stocks. You may remember Arthur Anderson for their involvement with Enron. Roundup Ready seeds, which contain pesticides and are currently used to grow crops of corn, soy, and rapeseed, canola oil, are now a permanent fixture in markets we think of as safe, like Whole Foods. These genetically modified foods are suspected to be killing bees and monarch butterflies and have caused changes in lab animals that include atrophy of brains, livers, and testicles, and cellular overgrowth in the stomach and intestines that could signal a predisposition to cancer. And now, GMO companies are reaching even further to include genetically engineered alfalfa, sugar beets, and soon, salmon. The first commercial animal food source to be genetically modified. If you want to eat truly healthy foods, you need to look for the USDA organic stamp on foods. If a food is labeled natural, it's not organic and may well contain genetically modified products. Two thirds of the products that Whole Foods sells are not organic and most other stores will have an even lower percentage. So if you don't want to eat foods that are suspected of causing genetic damage, you will want to make sure the foods you eat are certified organic. For more information about GMO foods and your health, please go to our website at www.greenlivingtv.org.